Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Spelunky. You know what? I took a one-day break from this game, and I really missed it. I'm not going to lie. Like, you know, when you make something... Whoa, monkeys. Careful. Double kill rockets, double kill horrific. Um, when you make something like a, a daily routine, I don't know. I kind of started to really miss having my daily dose of frustration. And then instead, I started playing uh, Ninja Gaiden. And that, um, that was fine. Yes. Um, you guys haven't checked that out. I have like a huge rage video. Um, out of nowhere. Took some damage. Uh, I guess I should work on my, my tree skills. My tree climbing skills are not at their, their peak. Uh, I'm gonna put you down, lady. Hopefully she doesn't get upset. As they sometimes... Oh, she's upset. She's a little upset. No more bombs. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm gonna have to work on that a little bit. Hmm. Unfortunately, I am really rusty. Um, drop her down. Oh, well, she's dead. Wunderbar! <laughs> That's been... Oh, and now I'm... I'm dead. That happened all so fast. You know what the worst part is? Is this game... The, the speed at which this game is designed is unbelievably impressive. There's something about the dead on my screen. It's like uh, like the speed. It, it's just like the frame rate is, is so... What a weird frog. This is a weird... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to blow up the tombstone. It doesn't do anything. So apparently I can wake the dead or something? You have two robot frogs. Can't really do anything. Nothing interesting has really happened. Oh, I see these are undead frogs. Nothing interesting at all. Okay, cool. So this is sort of like a random chance of, oh, this is going to actually be rough. Um, oh, come on. Can I just have one bomb throw that doesn't like screw up like that okay so now what I'm gonna do plant this run away yep remember when I said Miss Blunky might have been lying just a teensy bit cuz right about now I'm losing my mind doesn't take long doesn't take long for my pure insanity of, of just Spelunky to, to kick in Especially because now my ninja guy is driving me insane. Um, but more importantly, I'm going to do this. I got this. Oh, well, I, I tried my best to dodge that. Shot him out of the air because he's he was stupid. Let me let me shoot him out of the air. Anyways, pots. Apparently, uh, I'm destroying what's inside of them most times. Um, and that I should not be doing that. And instead, I should be... Um, I should be throwing them close to me, but not super, super far, because it just destroys uh, what's inside of them. So that's a tip for other people who are trying to learn to play this game. I mean, I know I'm late to the game, but, you know, you never know. People pick this up in the far-off future. Hello, future. How are you? Anything cool happened since I've been uh, been away? Man, those always kind of make me uncomfortable, getting cl so close to the spikes. So, this is a little different layout. A little... Oh, right. That guy's going to blow up. There we go. We got a late timer, but I'm not going to complain. Okay, we're doing all right. So far, so good. We're on level six. I've only taken one bit of damage. I'm just going to continue to descend because I'm not super concerned about... Uh, okay, so we'll just get the pot. I just got to be careful because the pots might have enemies explode out of them. But, oh, okay, so that, that plant just came back and ate him. Suiting punishment. Oh, I took silly damage there. Um, gonna drop down again. Just double check that that seems to be the best route. Those seem to be the best route. Oh, monkey's gonna come after me. Piranhas. How am I supposed to... Let's try that. See how that works. Oh, you can just, like, kind of... Okay, there we go. I dealt with the piranhas. I don't know if that was a value of true value. I'm gonna see if I can make this jump without needing to use the rope. It feels like I should be able to make this. Oh, there's a reason why I felt like it. I can make it. Okay, I got a... Yeah, and I got a little nougat, a little nugget of gold. Almost fell down, that would have been a bitch. So, is this the furthest I've been? Level 7? 
If I beat level 7, I don't think I've ever been to level 8, so... This is good so far. I mean, I know it's not the best possible run. I'm definitely using my enemies to my advantage now. A lot of cavemen, and they look like they're like they're really vying for me on this one. Oh, so that guy's gonna blow up. It's gonna be weird. Shot the monkey. I don't know if I should have used my rock like that. So there's an altar there. I could probably use that to my advantage. That seems kind of far. So instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna climb up and drop down this way. And I'm going to look down, and below me is the exit. We have a few bombs, so this is what I'm going to do. Two birds, one stone, so to speak. Get right to the exit. Risk nothing except fall damage. Fall down. Make sure I don't... How far is that, really? Uh, it's... It makes me uncomfortably... Oh. That makes me uncomfortably close, and of course I tried to put down a rope to be extra cautious, but unfortunately that I'm not going to be able to do this with very much uh, the dead are restless, okay so we've got this room again, and this is the furthest I've been, so I'm going to take it really slow really really slow and hopefully I will be rewarded for taking it slow for once so I'm going to take it really cautiously got a little dead hand guy here going to climb down Okay. Alright, no worries. I wish I had the compass right about now, knowing where the level ends. I'm going to use this. There we go. Found the exit to the level. Snake. Okay. I found the exit. No need to worry. Oh my god, I beat level 8. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! I may have only one health. Okay. The Oh god, there's a nice level. Okay, so I need to get to this woman. Oh wow, so there's like ice. Like, this is slippery. And I don't know any of the new hazards. So unfortunately, I'm kind of going blind here. Going in blind, I should say. So I'm going to use my rope. Of course. Of course. Because that just seems to make the most sense. I've woken the dead. I need her to stay with me. And I need to survive this. Um, my best guess, actually, I think this is going to be the best route to take. Um, just because I'll have some options. Oh god, she's going to one of those things where like, okay, the best thing to do is crawl, so she's probably going to bite it. There's a yeti there. I'm highly concerned with that yeti. Oh, fuck. Oh, that's a bitch. That's a fucking bitch. Okay, we'll give, maybe, I'll give one more shot to Splunk. You know what, that was a pretty fair run. I got further than I'd ever been. Uh, also, it means the next time I go to level 9, I'll be able to start buying my shortcut. I don't care, monkey. Steal my gold. I don't care. You stole my bomb? You didn't steal my bombs? You, you bastard. There we go. Vines. Oh god, I love them. No fall damage from water, though. Alright, I'm getting... I've definitely succeeded. Like, I've definitely... I'm getting much better. I should really work on my treasure collecting skills, though. I think that needs, needs some improvement. There's the gun shop. The weapon shop. So, what I could do is risk... Okay. Now what I'm... Haha. -ha. There we go. I'm gonna take the risk with the... Oh, God. N no. No. This is like the worst room for that. Look. Look. I've got three flares. And I have to keep them. I can't keep my gun. Oh, it's such a waste. Okay, come on, you can do it. You can do it. Okay. We're good so far. This is good. This is okay. No!
Oh, I didn't realize there was rape at the bottom of the chasm. Okay, well, you know what? I think we left with our minds intact in Spelunky, and that is a successful run. Congratulations, Project Ark. You didn't go nuts for once. Awesome. So, guys, I'll see you guys in the next part. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, have yourselves a great day. Um, I hope you guys are a lot better at Spelunky than I am. Super Flare. Bye!